Hello there. This is the family doctor. You look busy. Hello, Doc. Yep, I am tolerable busy. Mr. Hayes here has given me quite a big order. Oh, uh, you know Doc Adams, Mr. Hayes? How are you, Doctor? Yes, yes, Mr. Hayes and I met up at the new bridge last week. How's it getting along, Mr. Hayes? Fine, fine. Yeah, well, it's mighty nice of you to patronize the merchants of Cedarson, sir. Last time, uh, you remember that big job at the dam, just mm-hmm. the contractors who did that bought all their material and tools in from the outside somewhere. Yep, made us all pretty mad, too. That was the Russell brothers. They bid on this job, too, but the supervisors decided to award the contract to Mr. Hayes' company. Have you seen the job lately, Doctor? No, I haven't. Why don't you ride up with Mr. Rankin this afternoon? I think even a physician can see it taking shape by now. Well, (laughs) all right, sir. I I think I can do that. I haven't any appointments that I know of. Sure, Doc. Drop around first thing after lunch. All right. Uh... Well, Jess, you might as well take those tools down to the shed. We'll need them sooner or later. Okay. Would you like to step out, Doctor, and I'll show you around the job? Yes, thanks. I'll be back in a while, Doc, and take you back to town. Mm -hmm. Now, Doctor, I promise not to get too technical, but we had rather an odd problem here. We either had to put the bridge here at this end in the river, or else take out the old bridge before putting this one in. I see. That would have meant detouring all traffic from Cedarton to Dunlap through Eagle Pass, an extra 20 miles or so. Naturally, the county supervisors were anxious to avoid that. <laughs> Naturally. I understand the Russell brothers' bid was based on the plan to replace the old bridge with a new one in the same spot. So, I, well, I guess that's how I happened to be able to get the contract away from them. Yeah, but the structural problems were greater doing it this way. Is that what you mean? Decidedly. Yes, it took us quite a time to figure uh, out... Listen. How... What? Mr. Hayes, what is that? I, I don't know. Hey, she's Look out! That way, superstructure! It's giving! Look out, men! Jump! Jump into the river! There's a man stranded up there! He can't get down! Look out! Jump! Man, jump! That man! He fell with the bridge! He's down there on the bank! Oh, come on, Doctor! The other men are getting him out! Oh, I hope he isn't badly hurt! I've never lost a man in one of my jobs yet! Well, we'll see! Look out, man! Here's the doctor! Who is it? The young Carson, Moss. I can't understand how this happened. I've inspected every guard of the gun into this job. I can't understand it. Who's hurt, boss? It's Ben Carson, Mr. Shelley. How bad is he? I don't know yet. Dr. Adams is examined. Now, this boy's in bad shape, Mr. Hayes. We'll have to get him down into town right away. What in the name of good and bad happened down here? I never heard such a racket in all... Hmm. Is somebody hurt? <sighs> Jess... Bring your truck as close as you can to the bank up there, and we'll bring the boy up to meet you. We've got to hurry. We've got a job on our hands here. Right away, Doc. I'll be there by the... Uh, give me your coat, Mr. Hayes. Uh, you there, hand me those two poles. Yeah, here, Doc. I'll use here. my coat, too. Uh, All right, Doc. Button it up, Mr. Hayes. Right. Like this? Yes, yes. Now, lay those two poles on the ground <laughs> okay, and Doc. slip the two coats over them through the sleeves. Yeah. 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 That's right. Now, that makes a stretcher. Well. Now, now, help me put him on it. Oh, now. Very oh, gently, oh, now. Oh. Easy. 
Easy there. All right. Ah. There. Now, pick him up. Get him up the bank. All right, easy now. this morning, huh? How long have I been here, Doc? Oh, just ten days. How, how much longer do you think I'll have to stay here? Oh, I don't know, Ben, but don't you worry. All the expenses are taken care of. Workman's compensation, you know. And I think Mr. Hayes would see to it anyway. Doc. You... Yes, Ben? Am, am I am I ever going to see again? Now, ben, you're putting an old family doctor in quite a spot. We're going to do everything possible to get you back into circulation just as fast as we can, and... And, Ben, you've got to have faith in the men and women who are taking care of you. I know. Uh, there's a specialist coming down from the city pretty soon. Just as soon as we feel you're strong enough for him to give you a going over. Oh, it's okay, Doc. I, I just get kind of fed up here with these bandages and splints all over me. <laughs> but I guess I asked for it. What do you mean? I ain't a steel worker, Dr. Adams. You're not? What? It said on your insurance That plan. I've been working on structural steel jobs for five years, yeah, but that ain't true, Doc. I ain't never worked on a job like this before in my life. What? Well, well how... Oh, I had to have a job, Doc. I, I had to get away from... from... Eh? Yeah. I got in with a pretty tough crowd about two years ago, Doc, and, well, we pulled a couple of jobs, and then me and another kid was pinched. We started serving a term out in California... But, well, the other kid decided to take a powder. I mean, do an escape. Oh, right. I told him I was going to stick it out and go straight. I've been trying, Doc, but it's kind of tough sledding. Everybody wants references. I got out of that reform school, and I've been trying to get a job ever since. I ain't had no luck until I decided to fake some stuff about jobs I've had. And then, Mr. Hayes, he gave me this job. I guess I didn't know what I was doing up there in that scaffolding, or I might have been able to... Are you still there, Doc? Hmm? Oh, oh, yes, sure, Ben. <laughs> I don't know why I told you all that, but I guess I had to tell somebody. If I ever get out of this jam, I, I guess I'll never fake nothing again. Hmm. Ben, what's your idea about the way that accident happened? I don't know, Doc. I was just up there catching rivets when all of a sudden something started breaking. And that's all I knew. Mm-hmm. Uh, on your insurance application, I noticed you gave the Russell brothers as a reference. Yep, that was a fake too, Doc. How did you get that name, the Russell brothers? From, well, from one of the other men on this job. Who? I, I don't want to get nobody into trouble. Now, don't worry, my boy. You won't get anybody into any trouble they don't deserve. Who gave you that name? Well, it was Mike Petrelli. Oh, well, I'll be back again this afternoon. And uh, you'd better take some of that soup the nurse is going to bring you pretty soon. If you don't, you'll be sorry when you get a good look at her. <laughs> okay, Doc, I'll do my best. Well, I'll see you later. So long, Dr. Adams. Thanks. But tell me... Doc, as chief of police of Cedarton, I demand that you deliver up that Carson fellow. Oh, you do, huh? Yes, I do. And if necessary, I'll get a writ of habeas corpus from Judge Windsor. It's been two weeks since that wreck took place down to the bridge, and I want to get to the bottom of it. What, the bridge? Yes. No, no. Now, now, you listen to me, Doc Adams. Here's Mr. Hayes here. He says he knows that there weren't nothing faulty went into that bridge. That it was bad workmanship that caused that uh, accident. Is that right, Mr. Hayes? I'm afraid it is, Doctor. There were only two men working up there, and Carson was one of them. Who was the other? Why, Petrelli here. Yeah, I was working up there with a kid. Uh, but, but you see, Doc, uh, this Carson fellow used to work for them Russell brothers, and uh, that's what we want to talk to him about. And you do, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're not going to. Huh? Pardon? Now, you listen to me, all of you. Ben Carson is a very sick boy. I am his physician, and it's up to me to say whether or not you may talk to him. Not you, Chief of Police Bill Benson, or Mr. Hayes, or Judge Windsor, or anybody else. Yeah, but don't that's I... all I have to say. When I've decided that it's time to have a talk with him, I'll let you know. Goodbye. Well, gosh almighty. I never seen Doc Adams act like that before. <laughs> but I reckon it's how he means what he says. <laughs> Well, Doc 
Doctor, you asked us to come up here. Yes, I did. Now, let me see. Mr. Hayes, Bill Benson, Jess Rankin, and Potelli, yes. Well, uh, you going to let us talk to the Carson fella now? No, I can't. What? You can't? Yeah. He's dead. Dead? Oh, what? No, Doctor. Yes. No. no. Yes, he died this morning. What a shame, too. Oh. Probably I should have let you talk to him before, so we could have cleared up the mystery of why that bridge fell. As it is, I guess we'll always believe that he did it. No. That he maliciously weakened some of those girders. That he was underpaid to the Russell brothers. No, no. Patrell, I cannot it? stand it no longer. The kid, he never do it. He was never worked for the Russell brother. I did it. I did it. You did it. I'm a go crazy. I'm a killer to that Carson fella. Doctor, see, what is this? What's your real name, Petrelli? That isn't it. What is it? My little name is... Roselli. That's oh, what I thought. Roselli. Yeah. Gentlemen, meet the youngest of the Russell brothers. Russell what, brothers? brother? Yeah, that's all right. My brother. They made him do this. I don't want to kill anybody. Well, Jess Rank and I deputize you to take this uh, Petrelli or Roselli or whatever his name is down to the jail. I'll be down later. You bet. Come on, Ron. Take him out of here. Get him out. I don't to kill anybody. Oh. Now, Doc, let's get to the bottom of this. <laughs> well, Chief... Mr. Hayes, I, I'm sorry to have had to exaggerate the sudden demise of Ben Carson. What do you mean, Doctor? He isn't dead. Not hmm? dead. As a matter of fact, we're just about to take him in for an operation. An operation that's going to give him back his sight. Well. Uh, now, I want you two to go in there. Tell him that everything's all right. That he's been proven absolutely innocent and that you know he's going to get well. Uh, you go in first, Mr. Hayes, and tell the boy he's going to have a job the minute he gets out. You bet I will. You bet I'd tell them. Well, Doc Adams, how did you find out about all this? Oh, I don't know, Bill. I just put two and two together, I guess. Pretty good detective work, wasn't it? Well, gosh almighty, I'll say it was. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to put you on the Cedarton Police Force, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's an idea. <laughs> yeah, Maybe I might even get to be chief of police someday. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, no, 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 Doc, you, you shouldn't ever say things like that. is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs>